In this video, we'll be looking at documents in the HAT SRA Smart Engagement Template. Within the template, you'll have three main sections for permanent files and planning, field work and completion. At the top of each section, you'll see a plus icon and a progress meter. The progress meter will inform you of the amount of work which has been completed on each section of the engagement. The plus icon can be used to add documents, including additional memos, queries and letters. Signing off a document as prepared by will display a blue symbol on the left hand side. Signing off a document as reviewed by, you will see a tick which will inform us that this has been reviewed. Signing off the final review, a tick with a strike through will display. On signing off the document as final review, you'll see that the progress meter is now showing 8% complete. Documents can also be added into individual subsections by selecting the plus icon showing on the right hand side of the heading. Documents within sections can be moved and sorted into other areas by selecting the three dots menu button. Here you'll see the move option. Selecting this you can move a document to another section by clicking the blue arrow icon which appears against each of the section headers. You can also have the option to edit a document, which will allow you to change the name and identifier of the document. Or you can save a document to the cloud simply by selecting the Save to Cloud button. Save to Cloud will save a PDF version of the document within the file section of the entity on the cloud. The editing tool on the right hand side can be selected if required. The three dots menu button can be selected to show a detailed view of the document screen. This will display information about the type of document, whether it will be a placeholder, document or checklist, and a more detailed view of the sign offs. The hidden items will display all documents which are hidden by default in the file. For more videos and other useful information, visit kb.caseware.co.uk or contact our support team using the information shown on screen.